redox reactions in aqueous solutions. So, let us take two beakers A and B. Beaker A contains copper sulfate solution in which zinc rod is dipped and beaker B contains silver nitrate solution in which copper rod is dipped. Okay. So, notice the two experiments after a few minutes. In beaker A, we can notice that zinc rod, this zinc is partially dissolved in the aqueous solution okay and copper gets deposited on the zinc rod this is due to the following reaction that is zinc solid plus copper sulfate gets ionized into cu2 plus and so 4 2 minus ions okay now after reaction zinc as as a uh, zinc is having more electron releasing power than copper Okay, so they releases those two electrons and acts as reducing agent. Okay, and it gets oxidized to zinc 2 plus and moves into the solution. Okay, now copper which acts as a reducing, which acts as an oxidizing agent. Okay, that, uh, that gains those electrons and gets converted into metallic copper and that, get to, that gets deposited on the zinc rod and sulfate ion is not taking part in the reaction. Okay, so in this reaction zinc plus Cu2 plus sulfate is not taking part in reaction gets converted into Zn2 plus plus metallic silver solid. Okay, so this reaction zinc gets oxidized. So this reaction is oxidation reaction, and here copper gets reduced. Copper acts as a oxidizing agent, and the reaction is reduction. This will be the reaction takes place. Okay, now similarly in beaker B, what happens? Beaker B. Here. Uh, the same reaction takes place that is silver nitrate ionizes to silver ions and nitrate ions and the silver gets deposited on the copper rod okay copper dissolves in the solution that is partially dissolved in the solution so the reaction will be like this copper solid plus silver nitrate ionizes okay plus NO3 minus okay silver nitrate ionizes and nitrate ion is not taking part in the reaction copper acts as the reducing agent that releases its electrons it is more having more releasing power electron releasing power than silver so it gets converted into cu2 plus and moves into the solution plus 2 ag solid plus 2 NO3 minus because NO3 is not taking part in the reaction. So, copper plus 2 AG plus gets converted into Cu2 plus aqueous plus 2 AG solid. This reaction, copper gets converted into Cu2 plus. This reaction is oxidation reaction. Okay. And copper acts as reducing agent and here this will be reduction okay and silver acts as oxidizing agent and reduction takes place and metallic silver gets deposited on the copper rod okay so from these experiments we noticed that the electron releasing tendencies of the given metals is in the order Zinc is having more electron releasing tendency than copper, than silver. Okay. This will be the order. So like this we can develop a metal reactivity series or we can say electrochemical series. So what is electrochemical series? The serial arrangement of metallic elements or ions okay the 
metallic elements or ions according to their electron potentials okay according to their electron potentials determined under specific conditions okay so under specific conditions we determine the electrode potential of the different metallic elements or ions this arrangement is called as electrochemical series so in this order the order shows the tendency of one metal to reduce the ions of any other metal below the series okay so those metals above the series can reduce the metals below the series now let us see the electrochemical series the elements the arrangement of the elements and their electron potential so this is the arrangement of different metals or ions according to their electrode potential under specified conditions that is electrochemical series here lithium is the strongest reducing agent and fluorine is the strongest oxidizing agent okay and this order shows the tendency of one metal to reduce the ions of other metal below in the series okay and redu reduction potential are given here hydrogen is having zero uh, reduction potential and those above the series are having uh, above this hydrogen is having minus value minus uh, value okay that is negative reduction potential and these are having positive reduction potential okay from this we can find the elements which is more uh, which is having more electron releasing power and which is having less electron releasing power or strongest reducing agent and strongest oxidizing agent